Hey, what is up you guys? It is Overlord Gaming here and today I decided to bring you guys a commentary instead of a funny GTA 5 moments video. Now the reason I even decided to do this commentary was because I was looking through YouTube videos and I found a Halo 2 video on a guy named Drifter's uh, channel and he's a really popular Call of Duty commentator. And people were arguing down in the comments, you know, which game they thought would be better. And in my personal opinion, I think Halo 2 Anniversary is going to be a lot better than Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. And I'm going to go over the reasons why in the order of competitive multiplayer, uh, c custom games, customization, and then sound and graphics. So competitive multiplayer, I really feel that Halo has the edge because it's fair. It's a lot fair. It feels a lot cleaner. And it feels, you know, it doesn't feel like I get cheated as much. Uh, Call of Duty, whenever the game lags, if you're playing actual online, uh, micro lag can really fuck you up because it's a fast paced game. It, uh, it usually takes about 0.6 to 0.2 or 600 or 200 milliseconds to kill someone. And, you know, people usually have around a 30 or 40 millisecond ping, and that really cuts down the time that you can react. Uh, and I really, I personally don't like that. I know a lot of people do, but it places more emphasis on who's sneakier, or you know who gets the first shot off, or who's camping in the corner. And for Halo, I simply like it because it takes a longer time to kill, and it really you know shows who's the better player because you have to be more consistent with your shots. You have to consistently place headshots if you want to win, unless you're using a fully automatic weapon. And, you know, you also have to account for uh, them strafing side to side and, you know, any obstacles that may or may not be in your way. And there are a lot of things that can happen. Um, the way Call of Duty is played, I just don't necessarily like it because the spawns are all fucked up. And the reason why I say that is, is because in Call of Duty, if you press into mid and then you start pressing high mid near their spawn, what will happen is they'll start spawning either directly behind you uh, as well as in front of you, and then you'll have people back at your old spawn as well, and it's just a giant clusterfuck with your team caught in the middle. And unfortunately, most Call of Duty players do not seem to realize that, and it's just infuriating. As for Halo, yeah, the spawns switch, but there's a usually a wait time in which you know you have time to recharge your shields and get back to you know where you need to be. And, you know, there's also something else in Halo which is really important, it's power weapon control or map control. My new map control is, in, uh, is within Call of Duty as well, but it's not a necessity like it is in Halo. Simply because in Halo there are power weapons that can really give you the edge. Now, mind you, there are power weapons on each spawn, but in usually in middle there's something relatively big like a rocket launcher or a Spartan laser. And then back at your spawn, there is you like a sniper and a few battle rifles. Uh, as for custom games, I personally think Halo also trumps in custom games, simply because of the fact of you can customize your character's speed, their health, how they look, uh, like changing the armor color and other whatnot. You can change uh, player gravity. And you can just do all sorts of wacky stuff, and for Call of Duty, really the only thing that I know people have done is necessarily change the health, and then made, I guess, certain rules within the game, like, you know, people can only use knives and, you know, taking away uh, people's weapons, and, you know, limiting what weapons they can use and having a score limit. As for, like, matchmaking games, I also feel that Halo trumps in this, simply because there's, I feel like there's more variety, and there's more to do. Uh, I prefer, you know, Halo's, I think it's like 20, uh, matchmaking playlists over like CODs 14, excluding the hardcore because those are basically the same damn thing, only the difference is you get shot in the toe once and you die. Um, for customization, I, it's subjective in my opinion, I, I personally like Halo's customization more because I prefer to be able to customize my character and know my character looks like a badass than having a gun that looks fucking awesome but looking like a generic move. And, you know, in Call of Duty, I doubt someone's going to be spending the 0.6 seconds that they have to kill you looking at your gun and be going, that's so pretty. You know, I, I, I really don't. And with Halo, the kill, uh, time to kill is expanded. So, you know, you really get a good look at your enemy and, you know, what their armor looks like. And I really enjoy that. 
uh, for, you know, sounds and graphics, uh, that's really subjective as well. I personally, I always preferred the way Halo looked over Call of Duty because, you know, it was brighter, it was more vibrant and more lively. And Call of Duty just kind of felt dull. I mean, like, it's nice looking, it's shiny, but it, I just don't like it over Halo. And I know a lot of people have preferences, uh, different preferences, but that's just my opinion. So, uh, that's really all I wanted to rant about, and I'm really curious as to what you guys think uh, will be the best game this year, in your opinion, uh, either Halo 2 Anniversary or Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Please leave a uh, comment down in the comment section below, and please tell me if you like the video, and if you guys want more, uh, just shoot me a message, and I'll start doing these again. And I'm just going to let you guys watch the rest of this video. Alright, this is Overlord, signing out.